Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how to read, write and control holding register values of our Morbus TCP IP device from the lab view. Okay, so we have started our Morbus TCP simulator device using Morbus slave software and with the help of lab view, we were controlling, you know, holding register values and we have some scale on the uh, lab view dashboard so from that scale we can control the holding register values okay so that thing is possible with the lab view now in this video we are going to cover how to write coil status or control the coil status of our Morbus TCP IP device from the lab view so here is my Morbus TCP simulator we can go to setup we can go to slave definition and here we are going to control the coil status so that is why I have to select coil status here and then I have to press OK. Right. So in this video, we will see these things. OK, how to control the coil status. Now, here is my, you know, lab view project. So we are going to control the coil status. So I have to start the Modbus TCP device with the coil status. So you can see here ID is one function code one for the coil and connection type is Modbus TCP IP and you know ip address is 127.0.0.1 localhost ip address which i have specified here port number is 10502 which i have specified here unit id is one as you can see here and i am going to press ok to start my modbus tcp device okay now i have configured the number of coil i want to read and number of coil i want to change that thing in the back end of this lab view programming okay so starting address and count of coil i have you know uh, program in the back end and is a it's a static value okay so you can change the programming based on your requirement you can change the static value to control the more coil status now our device is up and running Morbus tcp device now i can run my lab view project and i can control these leds or you can say coils so if i turn on this you can see the value is changed to one if I want to turn on the second one, then you can see the value got changed to one here. If I want to on the third coil or you can say coil ID two, then you can see we can do it now third one and the fourth one. Okay, so this is how I can do it. And you can see whenever the coil status is one, the light is in the blue indicator and whenever it's off, it's a white indicator. Okay, so you can change this one too. You, you can also use red or green for on and off. But this is for you know um, demonstration purpose that we can have any kind of uh, indication here so if i want to turn it on then i can do it from here if i want to turn it off then i can do it from here okay so this is how you can control your uh, modbus tcp device coil status from the lab view you can extend the programming to control the coil status to control the holding register that's up to you you can extend it to any level okay you can create your exe file out of this lab view project and you can launch it any other operating system in which you don't have the lab view installed okay so it will be your standalone exe once you double click it will start communicating with your modbus tcp device and it will turn on and off that switch based on your requirement and if you want to buy this lab view project then you can buy from our shopify website i will provide the link of that uh, product in the description of this video also you can comment on this video or you can also ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp if you have any question or if you want to buy this lab view project or any other lab view project okay so i hope everything is clear about this video and if you still have any question concern or doubt then you know where to ask so we will meet you in the next video and in the next video maybe we are going to see the data logging part using the lab view okay so we want to log the holding register data of our modbus tcp ip device in the csv file with the lab view so how can you do it okay so we are going to see that in the next video so till then take care goodbye and thank you.